The Wizards Bilal Koulibaly might just be the biggest mystery in the NBA. Taken number 7 overall in this year's draft, Koulibaly is an 18 year old wing from France and chances are you don't know much about him because he was a late riser in the draft process due to the potential he showed overseas. But he just played in Summer League which is a great test to see where he's currently at. So how good is he? Let's break down his performance. Let's start on offense where he averaged 12 points over 4 games and he impressed with his ability to attack the rim, particularly in transition. You can see here how long his strides are in the open court as he puts pressure on the defense. He's explosive too as here we see him sky high for a dunk. He averaged 4.8 free throw attempts per game in Summer League which was good to see as at 6'6", he has good size to challenge defenders and either finish or draw a foul. Also, as you may have noticed, he's pretty right hand dominant at this stage. However, here's a nice take going left. He recognizes their space toward the baseline, and then on the drive, he nicely initiates contact and uses his size to finish right over Ben Mafferin. So you can see the upside he has as a ball handler, with the quickness to handle and get into the paint. His passing is still developing, but he does show glimpses of passing ability, and here he nicely attacks a closeout and drops it off to a big. Outside of transition, his second most common play type in Summer League was handling in the pick and roll, and he did a solid job of finding the roll man. We'll talk more about the pick and roll a bit later, but his ability to make these simple reads is a good sign. So Koulibaly displayed real upside as a slasher, but his offensive game right now is a clear work in progress. The main concern being, will he be able to shoot? He's currently a low volume 3 point shooter who only shoots when he's wide open. And in Summer League, he was 2 for 11 from 3 in 4 games and several of his misses weren't even close. However, on a low volume in France this season, he did shoot 36% from three, and here in Summer League, he knocks one down. But how it works is, until he proves himself as a higher volume shooter, defenses will just ignore him off ball. Here for instance, the Celtics put their center, Ozabuki, on him, which allows Ozabuki to help more in the paint. Then on the catch, Ozabuki closes short, daring Koulibaly to shoot, and the Celtics end up forcing a miss. So the shooting currently makes Koulibaly a question mark playing off the ball, and he's also run other areas that right now hold him back on the ball. For example, his handle is loose, and here he struggles versus ball pressure and turns it over. This can limit him in the half court as a scorer and driver, and here on an ISO, Jairus Walker picks his pocket. The big thing here was notice how Walker was able to sit on Koulibaly's right hand. He needs to become more comfortable driving left, which would make him less predictable and harder to guard. His passing also isn't up to par yet for an NBA guard or wing. He has to do a better job of finding shooters. Here for example, he draws 3 defenders on his drive, but doesn't kick it out to a shooter, instead opting for a tough finish. In Summer League, he had slightly more turnovers than assists, and this brings us back to his pick and roll game. He was able to find the roller at times, but had trouble reading the weak side. For instance, here with the weak side defender in the paint to tag the roll man, Koulibaly misses the skip pass to the corner. He's not yet a good pick and roll player as he's also limited by his lack of a pull up jumper as defenses will gladly drop their big back and let him fire. He also needs to add strength and here off the pick he gets bumped off his line and misses. And this is all to be expected. He's a project. He's not a polished offensive player right now and he wasn't efficient in Summer League, but the Wizards are betting on him developing his skill and feel level 
and he did show real ability to drive and finish. Moving on to defense, where I thought he was a clear plus. On the ball, he was quite good. As we see here, he does a great job getting into his stance, and here he forces Mafferin into his step back. He's best defending in ISO, and he forces a lot of settles because guys realize they can't get around him. After two switches, here he is tested, and notice how with his quick feet, he slides to cut JD Davison off. Really good stuff. One of the reasons Washington loves his potential is because he has an insane 7-2 wingspan. So this time, even when he's beat, he can extend his left arm out to contest. Great job to keep his arm vertical to not foul, and this was called off of Boston. With his tools, he has the potential to be a legit stopper who guards the other team's best perimeter scorer. And I love this. Look how he attacks the ball to blow up the double ball screen. The other way he was really able to make an impact was as a shot blocker. He averaged 2.3 blocks per game, which is absurd, and he had a few ridiculous chase down blocks in transition. His timing is excellent, and very few players can do this right here. I mean, come on. He also made plays as a weak side rim protector. Here defending Jordan Walsh in the opposite corner, he's the low man, meaning he's responsible to help at the rim if a breakdown occurs. Then on the drive, notice how he rotates over and goes vertical at the rim to get the block. Wow. Providing rim protection as a guard or wing is hugely valuable, and Koulibaly showed that potential, and here he even helps and blocks a center. However, outside of his shot blocking, he struggled as an off-ball defender. Right now, he frequently gets beat on cuts, as we see here. He has issues versus off-ball screens. Here he tries to call one out, but then again gives up the backdoor cut. Even at his age, you'd wish his defensive awareness was a bit better. Here, the Spurs set up a pin down, and he's slow to recognize it and gives up the three. This is worth keeping an eye on because some players who have elite physical tools underachieve on defense due to lack of feel. Hopefully that won't be Koulibaly, but here for example, he slowed the sniff out the swing pass and gets blown by on the closeout. But a lot of this is just due to lack of experience, and I'm excited to see him develop as he gets coached up. And this was great stuff here. Mafferin tries to get the ball, but Koulibaly shows good recognition and denies the pass. This totally screws up the Pacers set, and this was just a smart defensive play. And lastly, he of course needs to add strength to reach his defensive upside. In Summer League, it hurt him on the glass, where his box outs were soft, and he got pushed around. To recap, let's look at this super fancy graphic that I made. So on the plus side, he was impressive defensively due to his on-ball defense and rim protection, and on offense, he showed the ability to drive and finish. In terms of improvement areas, he has to improve his overall shooting, skill, and feel on offense, he has to get stronger in general, and then also improve his defensive awareness, particularly off the ball. Well, there you have it guys. Koulibaly is raw, but let's keep in mind he was the third youngest player in all of Summer League. He might just end up as a wing defensive specialist, but he has the potential to be much more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.